Right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be going into my number one trade for January 2022 on Euro US dollar. Um, and it is a big one. Um, and to get the scope and the scale of this trade, uh, I'm gonna to have to start out on the monthly time frame. So um, here on the monthly, you can see I've mapped out this structure that we have here. Um, and you can see we had a swing low here, a swing high, and then we broke the low, so we turned bearish. We cemented another low down here, uh, created a high, and then broke that low again. And then um, we eventually uh, closed above this high, turning bullish. Um, so essentially we're bullish on the monthly currently. Um, and what we had done so far was we tapped into this demand zone that was within the previous monthly range um, and had a little reaction to it, but ultimately that failed. So as we were in the discount of this monthly range down at this in this half of the range, um, we're expecting one of these demand zone areas to work out and send us long. So we were left with a couple of zones. It was either this one or the extreme down here. Um, and as you can see at this point, um, we have tapped into this potential demand zone. Um, and we can kind of refine that down by going down time frames. So yeah, the story so far on the monthly is we've gone up, created this long bullish leg here, and we've gradually made our way back down to this demand zone, and we're expecting price to continue long. Let's just go full screen here, hold on. Okay, so if we go down to the weekly, we can see we can refine, well, we can't really refine, it's exactly the same zone on the weekly. Um, so we'll go down again to the daily, see if the daily gives us anything. Um, and again, not a hell of a lot. Uh, we can kind of just potentially um, refine it down to these wicks here, uh, which we are still currently in, or even just this one wick down there. Okay, so that is our refinement on the daily, and then maybe even the four hour. So we can see, if we go quite away to the left now, but on the four hour, we can see we also have a zone. Um, and yeah, we could continue to refine that down even onto the 15 minute and potentially even lower. But if, if price would let us, that's going back to June, the 1st of June, 2020. Um, so you can see we've got this nice little area that price has tapped into. It's essentially a monthly demand zone. Um, so what are we looking for? Obviously, we've been heavily bearish on the four hour and on you know most of the higher time frames at this point. We've just seen this uh, sharp um, bearish leg here. Um, so what we really need to do before we even think about looking at longs in this situation um, is to get some kind of signal on the 15 minute that we are potentially going long. Um, so if we go down to the 15 minute now, we can see that we are also bearish on the 15 minute. Now I've said this in other videos before and if I'm gonna take a counter trend trade on the 15 minute, the minimum that I wanna see is a 15 minute change of character. Um, and a change of character for me, a lot of people have been asking me to do a video on change of character, um, but it's simply, um, in my definition, it's a break of any structure um, that isn't swing structure. So you can see within two swing points, you have all this structure within. Um, and so, if we look up here in this area, obviously there's no actual swing structure being broken, but you can see, if I zoom in a, oh, a little bit more over here, 
you can see we had a low made here and a high here and then here we've had a change of character because that low has been broken now if we look at the most recent price um, we've had a low a high and a low but this high uh, the candle didn't close um, above a candle to its left so we haven't created any swing structure here but if this high were to get broken that would be a change of character for me so it's basically in my definition a change of character is a break of a substructural high or low so moving forward um, what I'm waiting for before I get in long would be a break of this high so if we go forward here we can see that that's exactly what happened now for a change of character a wick is enough for me it just shows a failure of the um, the most recent basically demand or supply zone and showing that price um, that, that that demand or supply can be broken by whatever is down here um, so it sort of shows a change of character it's the first sign that price is changing from say bearish to bullish or vice versa and that's all the change of character is um, the clue is in the name it's changing its character um, <clears throat> so yeah we had this and now I'm ready to look on the one minute to see if there's any entry that I could get involved in so if we go to the one minute now um, and now let's break down some structure get rid of some of these points so we can see we've got our 15 minute change of character up here and so let's break down one minute structure uh, so as we've come down bearishly here we can see that we formed a one minute swing here because this candle closed above this one um, so once that low was broken um, we had we were waiting for another low to be cemented and all this is just one leg um, until this point because this candle closed above this one um, so our current one minute high would indeed be this point here until of course this low gets broken down here um, and so at that point the highest point before this break was this high right here okay and then all this down here is still one leg until we get to this point where this candle closes above this one cementing this low um, and then price continues here to go up and break one minute structure turning bullish um, and this break of structure one minute structure is the exact same as what caused the 15 minute change of character um, so yeah that's just a fact um, you can also see we've kind of had a little V shape down here not not the cleanest V shape but one nonetheless sort of a fairly strong move down and a strong put reaction and recovery back up here um, and then a flip right here so uh, this candle here has tapped into this supply zone reacted to it um, and ultimately then that reaction has failed and prices pushed through with a lot of strength and broken structure so what we'd be looking for here for me is either uh, as this is such a long leg um, what we'd want is either price to come down to this area and tap us in here uh, for our direct entry or to come into this general area and give a change of character and then we could get in on that so if we play price forward on the one minute um, we can see here that if we were to put an entry directly on this candle we would not have been tagged in um, 
So, well, we'll play price forward a little bit more, see what it does. Um, but ultimately, price did not tag us in at all at this point. But what we did get was a further break of one minute structure. And it did somewhat mitigate this area if we take this whole cell to buy. Um, so, what are we now looking for? Well, now we've got uh, our new high up here and our new extreme low down here. So, what areas are valid to take a trade from? Well, these days, because I get involved on the five second, um, I will, uh, I'll take a five second entry off any sort of clean unmitigated area. So I'd say we have this area, um, this area down here, as well as the extreme, which would be this area down here. Um, so yeah, and I'd be happy also to take a one minute limit from the extreme as well. Um, but definitely a five seconds from any of the decisional. And by a five second, I mean a five second break of structure um, once price enters this one minute area. Um, so you can see here how price would have just blasted straight through, uh, dismissing that area. Um, and price taps into our second area. Uh, potentially would have given us an entry there. Um, so on the five seconds, you may have gotten in like this, um, something like that. Um, and you'd probably have ultimately either been able to take a break even by partialing out for our um, 20% at 4R or you'd have taken a loss from there. Um, but we still had this uh, more high probable area at the extreme, um, which you could either also take a five second entry from or a one minute entry from. Um, and if we look down here, we can see that price ultimately comes. And just as we get to our New York opening time, which is 1 p.m. GMT, um, we can see that price does make its way back down quite heavily, um, but there's no reason for that to put you off, um, and tags us in nicely right there. Um, so again, you probably might have wanted, wanted to take a, uh, a five second confirmation, seeing price come down that quickly, but you know, nothing wrong with getting in just on the one minute as well. Um, so yeah, ultimately, what you can see, just move these lines, the price shot up from this area. Um, and now the great thing about this trade and what makes it so special is that we were able to basically catch the bottom of potentially a monthly move. And so um, recently I've changed my management style um, and management, I've always said, is a very personal thing. Um, and I used to trail my stop loss full volume um, behind one minute swings. That was great and got in plenty of great trades doing that. Um, but more recently, I've been more open to um, potentially partialing a little bit. Um, so what I do do now as I'm getting in on the five second and getting involved with smaller stop losses and things like that. Um, I do do the partialing uh, at one to four, 20% off instead of going break even. Um, 
And then also what I will do is also um, using the position size calculator, it opens up, say you had three partials set, um, it will open up three separate trades. So I have a 20% partial um, and that's one trade uh, that I use to go break even with. Um, and then two separate 40% partials. Um, and because it opens three separate trades, that means I have three separate stop losses. And so what I'll do is leave one stop loss open for like a long-term move of a trade. Um, and the other 40% I will trail as I did before behind one minute swings. And that enables me to lock in profit um, as well as leaving part of the trade open um, to uh, potentially get those huge wins um, uh, if, if they happen without getting taken out. So it's, it's kind of the best of both worlds um, in that sense. And it, it, some people think it's a little bit too complicated, um, but for me it works. But like I say, you know, uh, tr uh, management has got to be your own thing. Um, so yeah, going back to what's so great about this trade is the fact that it was, if we look again, a monthly zone that we tapped into. So we could potentially be setting our sights to this high here to get broken. Um, and it absolutely makes sense if we're bullish on the monthly, uh, we've reacted to a demand zone, um, a monthly demand zone in the discount of the uh, monthly leg. Um, we could absolutely think price might just go like this. Um, so yeah, looking to take an ultimate profit up at this point. So if we again go back down to a lower time frame, such as the four hour, um, we can see that from here price did indeed, after moving down a little bit, it has absolutely exploded from this point all the way up to this current four hour high. And that's around where we are now. Um, so if we go back down the time frame so we can actually see our trade and get rid of this. <clears throat> um, we could certainly at least have targeted the high over here for 323R. Um, and even more so, you know, there'd be no reason not to hold on to it and target the ultimate monthly high for something silly. I mean, oh god damn it, come on. 1110R. <laughs> Um, and yeah, obviously that is going to take a lot of time to get to, um, if it does indeed get there. Um, but you know, that it, I'm kind of half serious when saying that, you know, that could be your target and that could be your trade, you know, it's going to take a lot of psychology to hold a trade, well, depending on how much volume you've got on it. Um, to that point um, but I hope I've kind of explained in this video why it would actually be valid and uh, logical to do so um, I did I took this trade um, exactly as I've pictured it or, or lined it up in this video uh, the only difference is that was back before I changed my management style. And so I was still just trailing behind one minute swings. Um, so in this case, I didn't get a thousand R from this trade, um, as you might have guessed. Oh good, All right. Let me just move this down to a less ridiculous size. Um, but, it was still a good trade. Uh, 
but nowhere near as good. So my take profit was down here. So it was around 20R for me. Um, and you know, that's not a bad trade, um, but it's not a thousand R. Um, so yeah, and the, you know, there, there were a number of times that this happened to me over the course of January um, and previous to that. Um, and I eventually thought, I went back to the drawing board with my management and thought, is there a way for me to kind of get the best of both worlds um, with this? And this, you know, the way I manage now is what I came up with um, after doing a lot of thinking and data analysis. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, and it's perfectly fine to trade, uh, change certain things in trading, in your plan. We're always evolving, always changing. Um, as long as it's for the right reasons, it's not, you know, an emotional change because you've taken one loss or something, you change your whole trading plan. Um, it's actually good that we, sh we should always be analyzing ourselves, keeping track of data um, and journaling, doing markups, whatever, um, so that you can actually get a big overall picture of where you are and what you're doing and what's going well, what's going badly, what you could change um, and keeping track of all that data makes it a lot easier to make changes to your plan and know how um, that change would affect your results. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, bit of a fun one on what I consider to be, to have been the greatest opportunity um, in January for a trade. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'll give it some kind of clickbaity title with 1100R in the name. Um, but yeah, enjoy.